All right, guys, welcome back to another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is Ali Plays, and today I want to talk about a champion um, that's pretty easy to get, Soulbound Boyer. So I will be doing a guide on her right now, and yeah, so she is very, very good champion. Uh, she's one of the new waves of rare champions that are viable in a lot of areas in the game. Her Coffin Smasher, um, I think Rage Monger as well. Yeah, there's a lot of good new rares in the game. So if you look at her ability, she has an AoE on her, her A1. So automatically, <laughs> that's a good rare, right? AoE's on A1. She hits pretty hard, especially considering I didn't build her to do a lot of damage. Uh, her A2 attacks when enemy has an additional... Well, all her abilities have, have an additional 25% chance of inflicting a critical hit. So you only have to build her with 75% crit rate. I only have her at 68%, but uh, that's not an issue. So what's cool about this is it ignores 75% of the target's defense. Uh, and Soulbound Shot is very, very good. It attacks when an enemy has an additional 25% chance of inflicting crit. As I said, a whole, whole kit is like that. And then she also has a 75% chance of fully depleting the target's turn meter. So that screams spider, spider to me. And increase ally crit rate in all battles by 12%. So she can also increase her own crit rate if you use her in the least spot, if you want to use her as a farmer. So she can she can do that. I haven't tested her on farming, but I will in this video. Uh, let's look at how I built her. And there's a reason why I built her the way I did. And I'll tell you guys why that is after. So I'm using one accuracy set and one lifesteal set. Lifesteal set is obviously good for her if she wants to be a campaign farmer. As well as be utilized in spider. So the subsets we're going to be looking for is crit rate. So get that up to 75%. Get her speed, attack percentage, and crit damage. She is an attack based champion. And you're going to need some accuracy. Um, also HP and defense percentage are not bad to have to make her a little bit more durable. So as you can see, I got 18% crit rate here and 11%. So that's the reason why I did not go with a crit set is because I have enough crit rate from the <laughs> from these single pieces. You got speed here. And for the primary, I want the crit damage percentage primary. If you are new to the game, early game, you can actually do a crit rate percentage. It might be better for you, but if you're mid game or late game, I don't think late game people will even work on her, but you can go for a crit damage percentage as a primary. Um, I want for HP percentage. So the reason why I did that is because I want to use her in Spider's Den. I want her to be the tank for Spider's Den. And if I wasn't doing that, I would go to attack percentage as a primary. So if you're not going to be using her for Spider's Den, go for attack percentage as a primary. And I got speed boots. I did actually have defense boots earlier, but I switched them out just for this video. Because if you want her to be a campaign for him, you want her to go more often. So that's the reason why I went with uh, speed boots. Accessories, we got HP primary ring with some... Uh, Pretty subpar substats, I would say. is not really a legendary ring. Uh, crit damage primary amulet. So this is very good. This is what you need. Uh, try to get some accuracy on the amulet if you can. But if not, don't sweat it. Resistance is what I want for the banner. Is because I want her to resist the poisons from the spider. But if you're not planning on using her primarily in spider. Or if you just want to use her as the uh, turn meter manipulator in spider. You can switch it to accuracy as a primary. And we got some speed over here, so that is good. Let's look at the substats. Total stats, 32,000 HP, 2,128 attack. I wish if that was higher, but this is actually good for you guys to see. I'm not using super OP mods. I'm not using super OP artifacts, so that is good. 2,128 attack. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can get that. Usually people showcase around close to 4,000 attack. 187 speed, 181% crit damage, 68% crit chance. But her aura skill in campaign will actually make it so she always crits. Well, depending on affinity. 203 debuff resistance. I actually wanted to get that higher for spider, but I wasn't able to get uh, resistance pieces that had the good crit rate on them. Debuff accuracy is 159. So yeah, if you want to use it for spiders 20, you got to make that uh, accuracy higher over 200. So yeah, not bad. She has a good kit. And I also got her masteries done. So I went all the way down to get War Master because for dungeons, War Master is very good. And it's not bad for campaign farming as well. And we went for the defensive route to get Retribution. Because if you want her to be an Infinity Tank or just a tank in general for spiders, um, you got to get Retribution or else the strategy doesn't work. I'll show you guys a little bit of the strategy. I'm not able to do the do the Spiders 20 yet. I'm still working on the team. I'm still tinkering with it, but I will show you guys what I have so far. So we're going to review her now. So Spider's Den, I will give her a 5 because she has the AoEs. And you can also make her have a stun set if you want. 
with high accuracy so she can just stun the spiralings. That will be her job and um, to um, deplete Terminator of the Spider Queen. So she is good for that. Campaign, she's going to be a 5. She is a campaign farmer. But the only thing, I'm going to switch it to a 4 because the only issue is that she doesn't have all AoE. She just has AoE on her A1. Arena offense, I don't know why she's rated so high, but I'm, I'm going to be looking at this from early game. Arena offense, she is a 4. Ice Golem's Peak, I'm going to give her a 4 as well for early game. Force Keep, I'll give her a 5. Arena Defense, I'll give her a 4. Minotaur's Labyrinth, she's going to be a 5. Clan Boss, she's not good in Clan Boss. She doesn't really bring anything to the table. I'm just going to give her a 3 for Clan Boss. Magic Keep, I'll give her a 5. Holy Keeps, I'll just give her a 5. <clears throat> Dragon's Lair, she's going to be a 5 for early game. I'm not talking about Dragon's 20. I'm talking about early game. Uh, faction War is the same thing, but not the higher stages. So I'm just going to make this into a 4. Spirit Keep is a 5. Fire Knight's Castle. <clears throat> she can be used in the first two waves, but against the Fire Knight, she's not going to be doing much, so she's going to be a 3. She can deplete his turn meter, though, so that's... I'll just keep it as a 3. Recommend Artifacts. So we're using Offense and Crit Rate, that is pretty good, actually. Um, you're going to need some accuracy, though. So you can keep that right there. So yeah, now we're going to go ahead and showcase her. So we're not going to throw in Arena because I am in Gold 4 right now. And also we're not going to showcase her in Clan Boss because she's not good there. Let's see if, she, if Faction Wars are up for her. No, they're not. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Campaign. So we're on Brutal. Stage 12, 3 is what we're going to do. So we're going to take her out. And this is actually the first time I even, I've ever taken her into Campaign. So I have no idea what she's capable of. Why is she not using her A1? She needs to use her A1 more often. So there we go. So she is able to do it. She's not. It's not a fast clear time. I think it would, it would be faster if I wasn't running the um, HP percentage chest, and if I built her more of a, a DPS, that should be faster. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys um, my Spider's Den strategy with her. So obviously she's gonna be able to, to dominate the lower stages of Spider's Den, but I'm gonna talk about Spider's 20. So if I do if I do throw in Miscreate Monster, I can't beat it. But we're not gonna do that. All right, so this is my team. I'm going to throw an auto. We are going to lose. I haven't uh, completed the team yet. So I'm using a double, a weird strat. I'm using a double if tank. So I'm using uh, Soulbound Boyer and Bellower. So they're both the, the not if any tank, but they're both tanking. So if he dies, she's going to be the tank. And then Reliquary Tender is there to uh, bring, him, bring them back to life. He's not countering, though. I don't know what's the issue with him. Yeah, so that did not work out. <laughs> no, she's not going to survive. Okay, so that is a fail. We'll try another stage. Okay, we're doing stage 12 because I just want to showcase us actually winning. There we go. This is my team. Yeah, you can see like for early game spider den she is going to be very good especially if you build her with more offense if you use a attack percentage chest chest plate she will be very good but for spiders 20 you gotta you gotta cheese with her if you want you can switch to a stun set for spiders 20. i'll give her a chance to stun so if you have a whole bunch of stunners i think that might be a good strat but still it's all rng
So there we go. So she was able to do um, the most damage on the team, which is pretty crazy because this guy's doing, Royal Guard's doing damage based on enemy max HP. So yeah, she is good for early game Spider's Den, as I said. And she's going to be good in almost everything in the game. Um, Ice Golden Peak, Dragon's Lair, she's going to be good. Fire Knight, not really good. Uh, Minotaur, she's going to be good as well. And yeah, she's a, she's a pretty cool champion. I still think Zephyr Sniper and Shield Guard and Saurus champions like that are better farmers because she has multiple abilities. But she has more utility because she's able to ignore defense and also she she's easier to build because you don't have to build a 100% crit rate. And also, she has a decreased turn meter ability. So overall, she's, she's one of the better rares in the game. And as a bonus, she looks like Pikachu. <laughs> So yeah, for me, she is one of the top tier rares in the game. And uh, this guide was to see if you guys uh, wanted to build her. So for end game, I don't, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't work on her. But for early to mid game, she is good. So if you guys found this video helpful or entertaining, anyway, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you guys are new to the channel and you like to see things, consider subscribing. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. First, a message from Tyrone. I'm Tyrone. I need everybody to subscribe to the homie Ali Al Plays. And that's non-negotiable.